Hello everybody. Welcome to the fifth tutorial on our Django Vue list of tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going now to link our Django backend to our Vue frontend so that we can now see the life changes from our Vue frontend application through our localhost port 8000 which now is what is running on Django backend. <laughs> I hope throughout the other series of tutorials you have been able to do all of them and if at any point you got stuck or experienced any difficulty you can get in touch with me and uh, the comment section and I'll see how I'll help you. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to do uh, we need to configure um, the directory from which uh, the Django index.html file will fetch the generated band.js file in the frontend part and that is stated in the public path under uh, webpack.config.js that will be found in the frontend directory so once you open the webpack.config we are going to edit this uh, we are going to store the bundles under the dist directory so we are going to keep the path which is localhost port 8080 slash dist the file name will be bundle.js that's now everything is good on that side so the next thing we are going to do, we are going to create our index.html file. So you go to your templates and you are going to create a new HTML file and you name it index.html. Now this is the file which will now be, we will use it to render our components and for the changes that will be done in the full frontend part. So the first thing we will do, we will uh, import our webpack bundle you remember the webpack loader yes so now that's what you're going to load here so you're going to load render bundle from webpack loader the other thing is uh, if you check and uh, the index.html file on your frontend folder you'll be able to see we have a div with the id app and the build.js file which will be used in to display the chances of all the compiled code so we will create the same div here id app and now instead of giving the path like it was done on the other frontend index HTML file. Here we are going to use the render bundle to do that. So we are going to use the render bundle, and the name of our bundle will be the main bundle. So once you do that, everything is good and set. So the other thing you are going to do now, when you go to <sighs> <clears throat> sorry about that when you go to your urls you have not configured to which route is the default route for now it will just be picking the default index route for Django which just shows you a bit more information about Django or uh, what you can do the Django project tutorial or something of the sort so we will come to our urls pattern and we add a new path new path we leave it blank so that it will now be mapped to the index the root url so now when you visit like localhost port 8000 it will now be redirected to this route we we'll use the template view as view and we pass our template name template name 
we now created our index.html file and uh, templates. So we are going to call the index.html file there. So for now, everything is set up. And I believe with that, we are good to go. So let's restart our Google, the front end part server and we see if everything is working fine. Yeah, everything is working fine. Now, if everything is doing fine or working as expected on the Django part, we should be able to see the same same page that's rendered on the Vue frontend server should also be rendered automatically in our Django root URL. So that's it for now because now we have seen we have linked our frontend part with the backend. We are using the same same URL system under Django. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. And I think for now we have connected uh, the frontend part and the backend part. The next thing maybe will be on how we can create models and see if we can maybe fetch data, submit data, a bit of forms and so on using the Django REST API. So if you'd like to see more of that, uh, you can let me know under the comment section. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I hope I help you out in at least getting to know how things work. As a reminder, don't forget to subscribe and also if you get stuck, I'm here to help you at any given moment. Thank you.